here at Lansing with this way. A couple Friday evenings ago, Brother, um, Brother Josh Harninger gave, uh, we have a charge on Friday evenings if you haven't been able to come, that's okay, but we have a charge right before we go out soul winning, a, a little short devotional type message that's directed to soul winning, kind of inspire us to go tell the lost about Christ. And, and what he gave last time we met was such an inspiring, brief message. So I asked him that if he would come and share that with us, we've got to give him a little stool so everybody can see him. And, and I hope it doesn't offend anybody, but I'm going to move these flowers. So please don't vote me out the church, okay? <laughs> I'm going to move the flowers so you can see them. All right, great. Brother Josh, come on up here, buddy. This message that everything go right with it and all the new things that we born that everything will be all right and we'll just keep the things in our heart and we'll just win souls for you in jesus name amen, amen. tonight we're going to look at the subject of love warns love warns if you're not a war if you're not warning folks you're not loving folks we're going to look at who, what, when, why, where, and how. Everyone turn in your Bibles to Colossians chapter 1, starting with verse 27. That's Colossians chapter 1, starting with verse 27. Colossians 1, 27 through 29 says, to whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me my good. Let's look at who. First off, the scripture teaches us that we are not out preaching and teaching a religion, but we are out preaching and teaching a person. Right. That person Amen. is our God and creator, the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen, so the who Amen. that we preach is Jesus. Amen. But who do we preach to? The verses we read in Colossians 1.28 says we want every man. That's right. Jesus Amen. said in Mark 16.15, <coughs> Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Let's look at what. What do we preach? 1 Corinthians one twenty three says, But we preach Christ crucified. Amen. We Amen. preach the gospel and repentance. Amen. What is the gospel? That Jesus Christ was crucified uh, on the cross for our sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day Amen. according to the scriptures. Amen. John 3.17 says, for God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through Him might be saved. That's right. We Amen. preach the good news of Jesus Christ, repentance, hellfire, and damnation. When do we warn in love? There's only two good times to preach, in season and out of season. Right. Any other time would be wrong. Second Timothy yeah, amen. 2 says, Preach the world, be instant, which means be ready, in season and out of season. Right. Amen. What will matter three million years from now? Will it matter who won a basketball or football game? Uh, or who won the lottery? Or what car you drove? Or what nice clothes you wear? No, the only thing that would matter is that who is in heaven and who is in hell. Why do we warn to love? Why do we warn souls with Bible madness and gospel tracts and street preaching and witnessing? Because love warns. Amen. If you saw somebody Amen. drowning in a lake or the house was on fire Amen. and you didn't try to rescue them, you don't love them. You hate them. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? They are heading for a lake. Mm -hmm. The Bible says all those whose name was not found written in the book of life was cast into everlast I mean, cast into the lake of fire. The mm -hmm. Bible's Right. Another reason why, because we want to be wise in God's eyes. That's right. Proverbs right. 11.30 right. says, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Amen, Amen brother. Amen. Another why, that every second, two people die. People like you and me pass from time into eternity. Amen. Where should we warn in love? Our pastors in Colossians 
127 says among the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. That means among the unbelievers and the heathen. Right, this right. means we should preach everywhere. Again, he just said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. Where do people fish? Where there aren't fish? No. People fish where there are fish. Jesus called us fishers of men. One yeah. of the places that people like to be at the market. In Acts 17, 17, they preach at the market daily. That's right. So we go to the mall or downtown in different places. That's right. How? How should we warn of love? The question isn't how can I share my faith, but how can I not share my That's faith? That's good. Yes, sir. But how? We can hand up gospel tracts. I read from Jack Chick that 89% of Christians never handed out a gospel tract. Mm -hmm. Are you like the 89% of Christians today who never handed out a gospel tract? You can come out with us on Friday nights and you can hand out gospel tracts. Damn it. We can warn every man just like we're commanded to with street preaching and Bible madness and tracts, not just on Friday nights. You can hold up scripture signs and street preach even. I like to see in a preach like this. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, That's but right. the gift of God yes, is sir. eternal life Praise through Jesus Lord. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Bible Amen. says, for what shall profit a man? He shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Amen. Every second two people die. You don't put death on your day planner. Yeah. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come up to the Father but by me. Muhammad cannot save you. Allah cannot save you. Right. Joseph Smith cannot save you. Oh, yeah, Only yeah. Jesus Christ can save you from Amen. your sin. We love you enough to warn you. Hell lasts forever. Amen. Amen. Now, when you are witnessing, you need to get them lost before you can get them saved. Yes, sir. Use the Ten Commandments to show them their need for the Savior. Ask them if they ever lied, stolen, and committed adultery, which is lust in their heart. Hated, which is mortar in the heart, or use God's name in vain. If they say they are Christian, you can ask, what does Christian mean to you? Or you can say, let's say somebody stabbed me and I have three minutes to live. Tell me how I can go to heaven. If they can't tell you how to go to heaven, then they're not going to heaven themselves. Yeah. Our passage says in Colossians 1.28, whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. So we should preach how. It says in all wisdom. But that's right. not all. There's another how. Colossians 1.29 says, According to his working, which worketh in me mightily. We can only warn in love by God's working on us. That's right. Yeah. Jesus said in Acts 1.8, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And he shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. He will help us go out any time and teach and preach Christ and he'll work in us mightily. We just looked at what the Bible commands about sharing our faith. We looked at who, what, when, why, and how. So what are you waiting for? We need to be doing kingdom of God work. Matthew 9, 37 through 38 says... Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send for laborers unto his harvest. I pray the Lord will send you unto the harvest. Will you please be an encouragement to me and come out us on Friday nights and really every day as well. Let's pray. Amen. The Lord, please help all the things we learned today that we're just keeping in our hearts. And we watch this way, the master clip, that we just remember it and we'll take a bolder stand for you, Lord. And that we'll just be bold for you. Take a good stand, too. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Love, Lord. Amen. Man, that would make a Catholic jump out of the aisle and speak in tongues, wouldn't it? Man, that'd be a sight to see. Man, I, I was reminded of a verse in 1 Timothy chapter 4. Let no man despise thy youth. Amen. How old are you, Josh? Ten. Ten years old. Wouldn't that be great if we had more ten years old like that? Man, I've heard preachers that are 90 years old that, that can't preach that good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, we rejoice in that. Praise God. It's a reflection of of your parents too. Praise the Lord for you, Brother Randy and Miss Heather. God bless you. Amen.